Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the video series on EFT automation. Let us look at uh, file content checkpoints. Uh, I have a blank script. As you can see, there's nothing in there. Let me go to the canvas. There's nothing there, just a blank action. And um, let me go to the object repository. So it's all blank as well. There's nothing in there, no objects, no checkpoints. I'll go ahead and add, uh, you know, a sample uh, file content checkpoint. File content checkpoint text file. Okay. The design checkpoint file content checkpoint. I'll pick uh, sample text one. So you get a dialog box here, and uh, this is the name of the checkpoint. Let's see, checkpoint underscore sample text one. Now you can name it, uh, you know, based on your needs. And uh, we need to, you know, select the lines that you want to check. Say I want to check all these lines, you know, including this blank line. So there, are, there are six lines in there, number three and six are blank. Then I have some uh, data there. So I'm going to check all this. <coughs> okay. So it added a checkpoint there. Let's go like a quick look, peek into the object repository. So I have that's object name. I'll say sample text file. Again, you know, the object name is uh, customizable and you name it <clears throat> as for your needs and the checkpoint is here that's the name that goes in there <clears throat> and let me uh, save the file oh I mean to say just close the object repository now that I did it let me go ahead and run it okay it finished running the script I and mean, it was quick because that's the only thing it's doing let's go take a look at the results me browse to the checkpoint and there seems to be no error it passed that means you know there was no issue uh, performing the checkpoint now let's uh, you know kind of introduce a change or you know let us change the text file and see uh, what happens when we run the test case so this is the file I'll change the date to 25 let's say you know it was was, let's say it was this was supposed to be 14 I change the year save the file let me run it finished let's go ahead and look at uh, results so obviously there's a red cross mark it failed and uh, of course it failed let's take a look at the um, information here the data it captured so according to this it says that the expected is here and you can see that the line one is highlighted meaning that's you know that's where it found the issue and um, it says you know in the blue it says modified deleted added so it says uh, there's something got changed in the line it's a visually it's simple for us especially with this line to the 24 and 14 so that was a change it found let us uh, make a few more changes just to simulate everything let's say I deleted this line and let's say I added something here so the contents of the file have changed let's go ahead and run it so there is a we we edited a line we deleted a line and we added a new line so with this run let's see it should fail 
yes it did fail let's drill down to the checkpoint and take a look at this so there was a modification and the deleted it says you know that it's in red slash pink color and then uh, this is new line so that's how you know you know if you if there are any text configuration file that you want to check you know depending on the needs and primarily you know uh, to a practical example that i can give you is uh, you know the transaction files that go to you know from a bank to uh, clearing house you know ach clearing house and they're all text files and before you submit say you want to verify it you know you could easily verify it this way so you have you can verify it primarily you, know, you can also add regular expression to this if you want to it, it's a kind of advanced level but if you want to verify certain things just in the files so it will easily do this for you so again this is a file content uh, primarily the text file now let's go ahead and look at uh, a PDF so this is PDF PDS is also simple. You do the exact same thing. You do file checkpoint and a file content checkpoint and just pick the PDF file. And what it does is it will process the PDF file into a text file. And you can give you know the name as per your needs. and you can pick and choose the lines that you want to verify i mean let's say you want to check this date obviously it'll check the whole line and let's say i want to check this guy here check that line check that line check that line so you want to check these lines is it okay for that let's see now we'll go and look at the object repository okay in the object repository we have a checkpoint pdf file and we have an object for the pdf file as well you can say sample report pdf that reflects here that's object name that's that's the the checkpoint let's go ahead and run it okay let us go ahead and look at the results so we had two checkpoints we know for sure the text uh, you know the file checkpoint would fail because you know this is from the last modification uh, appears like the sample uh, report PDF had worked just fine so there's no issue so if at all I mean if you want to make a uh, change to a PDF file with the different data and you can rerun it and you will see that it failed so now that's it about uh, the file content checkpoints i mean the complexity of this again depends on the kind of work you do depending on the kind of application you're working with uh, you might involve regular expression that will you, know, you might i mean i'll have a separate video on regular expression where you can learn and apply it here uh, depending on your needs okay okay and that's it about uh, file content checkpoints and i will see you in the next video